Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and in this one again I'm using one of Natalie May Scrapbooking's collage papers. This one is called Cassia and I have um, extracted the face and shoulders from the collage paper and I'm just going to be using this as my starting point for my page. So I'm starting off adding some white paint to the area where the collage image is going to go because um, I wanted to kind of keep the collage face as true to the colours as possible. And so by adding that white onto the background, it kind of cancels out the difference that the craft might make to the colours that I'm going to use. I'm going to be going with pastel colours for this page, most unlike me, I know. Um, so once that white was dry, I'm then going to um, use some matte medium to stick it in place. I'm just chopping a bit off the bottom so that it leaves me with plenty of room um, for adding hair and um, and some space to journal too. So she's going to stick down just there. Um, Natalie's collage papers do uh, stick really well to the page so a bit of gel medium and then if you just ease them down gently you can find that you get them stuck down really nicely without any wrinkles it is possible um, brush a bit of matte medium over the top just to seal them as well and then you can add more things over the top of them and here I'm just I'm kind of burnishing it with my finger just to get rid of any uh, little air bubbles. So this is Lapis from Dina Wakely Media. Mine's gone a little bit chunky so <laughs> um, I'm mixing in a bit of white. It's made a beautiful vibrant blue colour. I love this and I'm just brushing this onto my page. Um, so I'm trying not to interfere too much with the uh, collage image, the face. I'm just getting some colour onto the background of my uh, page and using up kind of what I've um, made on the mat, on the glass mat there too. Um, I am going to be painting some hair in, but I'm going to go over the top of uh, what I've already done here. So then I'm pretty sure that looked like ocean um, or peacock and I've just added a bit of white to that as well. So that's created a really nice sort of lighter blue shade. Um, do you know sometimes you're not in the mood for bright rainbows um, and uh, I think it's fun to play with um, adding white to lots of colours and just seeing what that does. So this is a stencil from Natalie May Scrapbooking as well and this one is called, I'm just looking it up, hmm. is it my, oh I don't know, something like Scribble scribble words or something like that not sure but anyway it's one of natalie's um stencils and i just added a bit of stenciling through that and then this is one of uh, dina's with these lots of little dots and i think um oh this is connected dots going in with this one first adding some areas of stenciling i'm just building up the layers really on the background and, and a way that I really do like to do that is just using my stencils on my page and here I'm using a heather so I'm keeping my actually I think that's mineral I think I'm telling you a lie um keeping my colors quite subtle really because I want the face to be the thing that really sings on this page um, so here I'm just working out where the top of the head would be so if you remember that the eyes are about halfway down the head you can kind of work out where to sketch in your hair. So I am using Heather this time for the hair and I'm going to pull it down so it's behind the shoulder on this side and flowing down over the other side. I love these images. They are so, I don't know, there's just like a serenity about them, so calm and peaceful. Um, and this was just perfect for what I wanted for this journal page. So here I'm playing with just getting the hair in the place that I want it to be. And while the paint is wet, I'm just um, going to be removing a few areas where it's maybe gone a little bit too wide. So I can just lift those areas away and just kind of play with the shape that I've created and you know, until I'm happy with it. So then once it's dry, I'm just going in with the Stabilo oil pencil and um, outlining the edges of the hair drawing in some more of the lines on the face just to darken some of those up um, 
and just bringing back a little bit of that definition that might have been lost while I've been adding the hair and sticking her in place. So now I can also start to soften those lines by water activating them using my water brush, just gently pulling that along the lines. I tried not to press on too hard with the Stubbolo Wall pencil because having had that experience where I've gone in quite heavy handed and then you've got like really, really dark lines which can completely uh, spoil the look that you might be going for. So um, just... Uh, and go easy with those Stubbolo oil pencils. So these are some stamps from Natalie May as well. These are like leaf and botanical type of stamps and I'm just stamping a few of these at the bottom of my page. Um, starting off with uh, black archival ink. I think that's what I've used first. Um, I think I've also used some purple and blues so that it's kind of um, working with the colour scheme that I've already uh, chosen for my page and I'm just overlapping all these little leaves and branches at the bottom of my page and I think that doing something like this helps to ground your image um, so obviously it's already touching the bottom of the page but adding that uh, detail at the bottom like I say it just grounds it and makes it feel like it belongs so now I'm using some distress crayons and I'm just adding some marks and colours uh, onto the hair um, not really overthinking this. I am literally just sweeping some lines on, trying to think about the movement, like the way the hair would be falling and just doing some lines in those colours. And I'm using um, purples from Tim Holtz. I think one is Dusty Concord and the other is Wilted Violet. And I'm just smooshing them with my finger. And then I am using, what's this one? Peacock feathers. Um, because around the edge of the face were a few areas where there were some little tiny bits of that sort of peacock feather colour. Um, and I just wanted to make that so it felt like it belonged and add it in a few other places. So now I'm just adding some of my dotty stamps over all that other stamping that I've done. And a little bit of text stamping as well. And then this is a little cross stamp from Scrap FX. Um, and using some white paint with this. And I'm just adding these in a few places too. Little bit of blush on the cheeks. Again, these are the palette pastels from Jane Davenport. And then I'm adding a little tear. This, this is a little bit of a sad page. <laughs> and then using my Stubbolo Oil Pencil to bring a bit of definition to that tear, just so it kind of works with everything else that's there as well. And then it's time to add my quote onto my page. Um, and one thing that I will say about writing quotes on my page, I, I like to do nice big bold writing, big quotes. Um, I often like to fill them in the space that's left. And here you will notice that I am even going over the top of the image that I've added. And, you know, I just think it doesn't matter. Um, all these little things that you do, like writing over the top of your image, just makes everything work together. Um, and here you'll notice as well, I've swapped to a slightly thinner Posca pen because I knew that I didn't have a great deal of space down here to finish my um, quote. Um, and just swapping to that extra thin Posca pen compared to the one that I started off with meant that I could um, fit my words in a bit more easily. Then I'm just doing my little trick that I like to do, which is just go in and add a little bit of um, more... Uh, definition a bit more thickness on one side of all the letters I think it just helps to pop them out from the background a bit more there is a really cheeky fly in here it keeps flying around my face <laughs> it's really getting on my nerves um, and I'm going to do the same with the larger writing at the top of my page too so you can see how this page kind of hangs together how it um, the stamping at the bottom of the page has kind of grounded the image and then writing the quote over the top it just pulls it all together. Um, so, yeah, don't be afraid to try different things out. And, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know not to do it like that again, but you've got nothing to lose by giving it a go.
So final touch, I am using a white uh, acrylic paint that's watered down a little bit in a fine tip applicator bottle. And I'm just drawing in some leaves at the bottom of my page. Um, and that is just for the sake of adding a little bit of contrast. contrast. Um, and then I am just adding some white dots as well so that that kind of marries that together with the bit that I've added at the bottom. And that's this page done. So um, really kind of a quiet, reflective page, reflected in the colours that I chose to use. They're quite calming. Um, and just lots of little techniques in this journal page for how to make your page feel like it hangs together nicely, like your images are grounded um, and fitting those words into. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again soon.